Holy crap. The stone actually filled up already. <laughs> okay then. Um... Well, I want walls. So I should probably just get busy on that, huh? It's just bricks. Grab one of these guys. We'll be good to go. See, yeah, crafting all the walls myself would probably be a pain in the ass. That'll be a decent task. That'll be a, a decent task for my uh, bricks to be used on. I'm gonna keep this box, this chest here separately though, because I like the idea of it being here. So I'll put you like down here or something. Yeah. Just because I, I like the idea of having. What's the inserter type? Fast inserters are blue. I don't even have a slot for blues right now, do I? Still use the burner inserters. Probably won't. My inventory's full again. Ah, crap, it's coal. I keep getting full up. Oh, part of the reason my inventory is full is because I have damaged transport belts. Which... Can you even repair transport belts that are damaged? I don't even know. I'm genuinely unsure. I guess you can just- I guess you can just repair them, yeah. Where's my... Repair kit? Ah, crap. I'm not used to using repair kits, so now I, don't, I forget how to use them correct completely. Left click? Yeah. Probably not worth the use of a repair kit, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to throw away my transport belts, even if they might be cost effective to do that. But I just want to combine them into one stack, Damn it! There we go. Bam, extra space. Oh, well, I bricks in my inventory, too. Okay, so you are going to build... Oh, no, can you not build walls? There it is. Never mind. I was just briefly stupid. Let's build a fast inserter. Oh, I need some mechanics, huh? Oh, God. Okay, uh, tool belt. Go for it. I think that gives me an extra equipment slot. Do -do -do -do. Some more of these. Some more of these. Circuits and nonsense. Bam, so many fast inserters. More than you can handle. There we go. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and apply this slot to being fast inserters. At long last. Let's see. Fast inserters are just more expensive versions of uh, normal inserters, right? Energy consumption is higher, but otherwise we're mostly good. They, they, it's just a normal inserter with some more electric, electronic pl uh, circuits and iron plates. So maybe I'd want to take out, get rid of my normal inserter slot actually, and replace that with a fast inserter. That'd give me a nice place to put those. So it might be just time to make the full upgrade. Here we go. For now, we're just going to be dumping these into a nice little box. Right after I make one. Here we go. All the arms you can handle. And while we're at it, let's just jam a bunch of stone in there, just because I have too much of it just sitting around right now. Wow. Oh, for a second there, I th wow, it actually it uses the stone really fast. Holy crap. What does it re require to build a wall again? <laughs> oh, five bricks at a time, and it's a rapid build. So I could actually build like multiple <laughs> inserters pointing at the same time, couldn't I? And it would keep busy. Well, let's dump all of my extra bricks in there so I don't have to carry them around. Alright, well that'll keep it busy. That's too many inserters in the long term, just because at some point that chest is going to be full, so it'll be silly. But, uh, I find it amusing to put them there for now. And the, and the, ultimately, I just need to have a proper output for all this crazy stuff. To make it worthwhile. Let's see, let's grab these stones that I'm starting to collect here. See, my tool belt's almost ready, but for now we'll just do this. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah that builds fast. Alright, so right now we have a good... almost like 100 walls. I just need to start defending my nonsense around here. Because all my turrets are being attacked all the time, and that's not good. Also give us a little space, hopefully. See, can I... I wonder. I, I mean, I assume I can just wander right up, right? Are these all damaged? They're, no, they're, they're only slightly damaged, huh? Yeah. So we're good. There we go. So now they now they should have proper defenses. Do need a lot more clips, unfortunately. 
from some steel plates. That's what I need to do is, since we have so much steel coming through anyway, what is happening here? Oh, right. I'm low on my production here. Let, I'm going to show you guys a new trick I found out about. Right after I get when I need to build those again. Crap. Do 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 do. Uh, circuits. Ah, uh, wires are used for circuits. There we go. I learned a new trick about how these work. Um, tool belt increase. Oh wow, that's a whole second slot. I didn't. I thought. It, I, I kind of thought it was going to be a, an awkward offshoot off on the side somewhere. Energy distribution gives you substations. I'm interested in learning how that works. Wire reach 14, supply area 14 by 14. Alright. Let's go ahead and, yeah. Uh, let's make this the official slot for my mining facilities. There we go. So the trick I learned is that you can feed these directly into each other. Which totally makes sense within the logic of the game that it would totally do that. But I never thought about that. So you, if you place these pointing directly into the other, uh, mining facility, they will just mine directly into that facility. Which means that the, uh, whatever they craft goes directly in that direction. It might create a problem where they might get too full, though? Yeah, maybe that's a bad idea. I guess I've made a mistake. Oh, wait, the trick... Never mind. I don't think that applies in this situation, necessarily. I think that so the trick that I saw people mention that in was that you can, uh... I think at the beginning of the game, you can... I think you can take two, uh... I believe you can take two coal miners and point them directly at each other. And then by pointing them at each other, what happens is that they, uh... They fill each other with coal. And that makes it so that they, uh... They never run out of coal, because they're... They're literally putting their excess coal directly into each other whenever they run out. So, like, at the, at the beginning of the game, when you just need a bunch of coal, without having to build a chest or anything, you just have an ongoing supply that way. There we go. Throw in a pole. Out of range. You should use medium ones anyway. Boom, why is that even there? Oh, because I picked it up. I was, I was, for a second there, I thought I built one for some reason. Yeah, we need to pump up our iron production just because it's not keeping up properly. Or at least... Just the fact that this is, uh... The fact that this is also blown up so excessively. Like, I built all this production, it feels dumb to me to have it set up so that it's just... A handful of plates coming by every now and then. I built all these, all these, uh... Stations for a reason, after all. I'm trying to make uh, my... The, my source resources as absurd as possible so I don't have to... Ever increase it later. Hopefully. So I'm happy to just keep cramming these out for now. And just try to keep clear lines along the way to keep them fueled. Oops. Oh, out of range a little bit. There we go. Nope. Oh, that's my crafting range again. I'll just put this one down to not deal with it anymore. There we go. That'll be good for now. I guess I might be building these a little too close together because it's getting to a point where I can't build my power stations anymore. Is that out of range of everything? I messed that up. That one would be in range. There we go. Gotta leave a little more space for that. Alright. That should pump up our ore production, which should hopefully lead to increased... Yeah. Plate production, although they're still barely making it past the pond. So I really have a lot set up here. By comparison, our, uh, our copper's very busy, but that's probably because I'm not using any copper, aside from... Well, I'm using copper in a few stations here, but they've, uh, they've had time to stock up. Oh, shit. I didn't finish what I was doing. No, I gotta, I gotta just come back over here and do that. The whole reason I came over here was, uh, I, I got sidetracked doing that, but the reason I came down here originally was to help with the ammo situation. Oh, here we go, I already did that. Never mind, last time I was playing, I set up more ammo clips. Still, increasing the, th the throughput is good. Let's just cram these guys with ammo so they can defend our walls. Good 50 or so should be good for now. Alright, those four each have 50 shots. 
try to repair some of the nonsense that already happened. There we go. That'll help us out a bit, at least for now. And... We should have a lot of stockpiled walls now. Yeah, we do. So now with the proper supply of the turrets, I could be ready to defend a lot now. Or at the very least, I should set I should set up a similar encampment over here by the sea resource to defend the other direction. And set up another one over by our uh, copper source to defend that direction too. This thing's going kind of slow, huh? What's the cost of making a magazine? Two plates. Okay, so it does seem to be supplying itself faster than it's building them, so I don't have to worry- oh, it's not that the arm is too slow, it's that the, uh, assembling machine is not especially fast. But it's going on a decent clip. I think it was the last thing I did before I stopped last time, so not a lot of time has passed between episodes for that. How am I wearing shitty armor still? Did I build it already? There it is. I built it, just hadn't put it on yet. Alright, all this goddamn coal! Always getting into my inventory. Just going to casually dump it wherever I can find a spot to dump it. Oh god damn it. Oh, I keep dumping it over here and they're all full now. So much coal. I just got a bad tendency to hit uh, the F button and. I've, I've bad tendency to try to pick up everything that's nearby when I'm getting minerals, but then use that when I'm trying to get coal- when I'm, when I'm too close to coal and I collect hundreds of coal on accident. There we go. That'll free up some space. Right, so we have a proper power supply. I need to just build defenses to make sure that stuff like that's all defended in each direction. But for now, let's figure out what I'm going to try to work on next. First of all, I should decide on which of these crazy iron paths is going to be my main through line. These are crazy weird snakes, so I'm going to say that this one should probably be my primary goal for a bit. Yeah. Just because any of the other directions are going to be a pain they has to deal with because they're already kind of tied in there. Let's see, how are we doing on... So at this point, we're really backed up on these transport belts. But I like transport belts. I like transport belts a lot. So, what I might do... is... Uh, it's, it's awkward because the transport belts are placed here. I'm going to... take this one out. And I'm going to awkwardly replace it with a chest. Yay! Now we've got a transport belt chest. Because uh, we might as well use all these damn resources and I always need transport belts. Now I'll have a go-to place where I can grab more. What's going faster? Looks like they're not being built as fast. Yeah, the uh, the supplies aren't coming in fast enough to build at maximum speed. But is it still going at a decent- it's going at a decent speed. I'm not overly concerned right now. But yeah, I could replace this with a mach- oh, I, was, I could- yeah, I could do that with a machine two. Just need a machine one. Alright. I'll literally just pick it up and craft it. <laughs> When the only missing resource is just the assembling machine one, that's all I have to do. Bam. Faster than ever before, right? So this time the slow thing is the w is actually the wall. Is the arm. That'll speed these guys up. Oh wow, it's still waiting for it, huh? That'll keep it busy, huh? Now it's not- it's also not dishing it out fast enough. Okay, two of those are probably too many. There we go, look at the- look at it ramp up in production like that. Alright, well, we'll never need more of those again. Yeah, most of these- most of these machines should essentially- eventually be an assembly machine rank two. Just gotta get up to that point, basically. So much nonsense standing around in my inventory. Alright. Ooh, are all of our lines corrupted? All of our lines are currently corrupted. That's not great news. Okay. Let's replan this a little bit. 
Because I, I need I want a pure line of copper going through here. So I'm gonna slightly replan this little part right here. There, now that's the splitter instead. That's the non default. Similarly, that's gonna happen here too. Oh, except that's a problem, isn't it? Ah. Make it go one further. There we go. Now you pop in a splitter. And have that point directly up. And same situation. All fixed up. Alright. Now they all have a source. I guess I might want, need to move that one a little bit. Just to be sure. There we go. We should be good. I just want to put it in the right position so it can definitely grab these if it needs to. Oh, did I create a corruption problem here? I did. Because these try to go in on this side. That's also fixable, though. Bam. There we go. Everything solved. Where the whole goal was just to make a nice through line for the copper. So now my copper and iron are going have a nice straight line going through. They split off, but they have a they have a pure line for the most part. What I'm saying, my point of that is that it's not oh, well, I didn't, I might need, to, might need to fix iron to fit that concept, but right here there's one split off of, of copper here and one split off of copper here, but this is the through line. I just want to make sure that it's not a fork of a fork of a fork in that like for example, this one that's splitting off, I want to want to then split that off into copper and then make it so that the primary pipeline is Ah, uh, my distinction might be completely arbitrary. I guess that it probably doesn't actually matter. Let's not dwell on it for too long. Like in my head, this makes slightly more sense to have this be my main line of iron, but I also might be completely full of shit. <laughs> I think I'm going to move on before I obsess over that too much. Oh, God. Look at them being nasty, huh? All right. Probably want to set up a fenced off area to defend myself off by this wall. So you need a bunch of iron for my guns. Yeah, let's go collect a bunch of iron. We have so much to do that with. So we have this nice long line and look at that, our, thro our throughput of uh, iron now. It's keeping busy. Oh wow, that is like a solid beam of iron. Yeah, it's actually reaching all the way down to the bottom one now. So that is going 100% according to plan. And now I can build a whole set of guns. And I've got a, I've got hundreds of wall pieces, and I can just actually defend ourselves now. And hundreds of clips. The bullets are still going slow. I may want to build an extra assembly machine for that for that purpose, just to make it go a little faster. Let's see. Need gears. I mean, I, I should have most of those things already, right? I, do I have to do I have to manually pick up the gears? Do they not craft myself? Maybe I can't craft the. Uh, Gears by hand. Oh right, all those all those turrets are taking forever. Oh, messed that up. I was waiting for it to craft the assembly machine and forgot that I was already crafting a bunch of turrets. All right, let's get you on. Oops, let's get you on that duty. More clips. That'll keep you busy. We're just gonna start putting fast inserters all over the place. Look how act look how fast they are. It's totally worth it, right? Right? It takes a it takes an attorney to build one clip, but then it gets it gets in that box so fast afterwards. I figure once you have a proper power source, that's probably the future more or less, is just to have a bunch of those around. But it's probably wasteful, probably. But you know what? It's the American way. Right? I tell myself that. Let's see, so they come from around here, mostly. So let's set up our nice little walled area. Can they go into the water? They totally can. It's probably worthwhile. So they set... Is it true that I can hurt these things? Sorry, someone said hit C. So you hit, you hit C to shoot rocks and inventory and like environmental objects but you, with your guns, which of course costs you ammo and everything, but it's an option. Um, 
So I just realized I should probably put them closer to the to the edge of the wall. Well, now that's just going to bother me that they're that close together, but they're not touching the edge. There we go. It's probably way too many guns. But hey, might as well put them out and about to help out. Rather than having them lie around in my inventory or something. Yeah, I don't even have the ammo for all of them. <laughs> this is silly. Oh, grab. Was it you the last one? Yeah. Just trying to defend ourselves a bit. We'll close off the guns so they can't get attacked. And they'll and this will hopefully be enough distraction to keep the main base safe. I can grab these guys now. There we go. Oh yeah, they had more magazines. But I want to put more down by the copper people anyway. Let's see, this will be the ultimate oops. The ultimate direction of the iron. Let's bring it down towards the center of the base again. And it'll continue off to the right, ultimately. Nope, oh, out of range again. Just I'm just that pro, apparently. You can tell I'm kind of spacing things out a bit, just to give myself room to work, because this is a mess that I'll untangle at some point, but at least I can try to avoid making it get too messy in the future, because this over here on the far left is nice. It's compact, which could be messy if I ever want to change anything, but at least it's in nice, orderly, straight lines. And we're definitely producing a lot of resources now. Oh yeah, and that lets lead to us actually producing steel properly now. Because, uh... The splitter's over here, so we have to be, we have to be producing iron past this point to even make it over there, basically. But now that's exactly what's happening. We're being attacked on the left here. Oh yeah, they're... They very much were defeated. Alright. I do wonder whether or not there's drones you can use to defend your, uh... I do wonder if there's drones that you can use to defend your, uh, buildings. I mean, to uh, repair your buildings, specifically, because that would definitely come in handy. So far, they mostly attack those two directions over and over again, so for now, I think... It's actually really handy they show you corpses everywhere, because it helps you figure out exactly where to build turrets. Or, or which turret locations are most frequently under attack, so you can remember in the long term. What's the... Four turrets are engaged with enemy. Oh, there's, there's more down here, too. Oh, shit. Alright, they get around. Alright, let's plan over here now. Not a fan of this situation. Wow, nailed it. Not sure how I managed to get it off-center like that. Here we go. How are we doing on clips? We are doing terribly on clips, as it turns out. Also, go check in on that machine. So I'm at, at, I'm at a point now where... I don't know, I, I guess I'll just go into my tech tree and just pick something kind of arbitrary to build. Did I pick something that I can't build right now? Oh shit, that's got blue. I'm sorry, everyone. That was a mistake. We'll work on the railway. Wow, that was not ideal. <laughs> I failed to register that little point. Yeah, there we go, this is working out. So now I've got my clips. Put like a good 50 or so into each gun. That'll keep us busy. It'd be great, because I've, I've, I've gotten hints that there's machines of some kind in this game. The, like, drones that are independent. I'm curious if I can get them to either uh, re run around and repair things, or maybe run around and uh, supply ammo into things, because both would be pretty good options to me. There we go. Oh, I've got a hundred in my inventory right now. That's why it's... That's why it's happening that way. Oh, individual right-clicking is kind of annoying. Eh. I'll just grab half of you and put them in there. And all of you and put them in there. And then half of these... To put in the middle one. And that's roughly 50 on all of them. Ish. <laughs> that's... That's better than manually clicking, at least. I'll leave the stone- I'll leave those things run past both of the- of the stone mining facilities and just run straight down here. Don't have a- don't have an explanation for that one. So how you guys doing on power? Ooh, performance is filling out. So we should probably ramp up again. It's fine. I have the ability to. Let's see, do I have- So I have pipes right now, I have a lot of boilers, a lot of steam engines. But do I have- I do have an offshore pump. Alright, so I, I have- or I already have everything I need for the most part. 
see. Let's put the let's go ahead and just put the track down right away so I can get an idea of how this layout works. There we go. So for us to work, we need tr pipes like that. We need. Uh, do I have inserters? They're there. Is that exactly seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nailed it. Good job. So now the pipes will go. Oop, that's those are underground. Um. Oh, were those my only pipes? Those might have been my only pipes. That's fine. They're quick builds. So just pop those down. Then come the boilers. And quick... The next choice is probably some quick underwater pipes. Are you not going to connect to that automatically? I guess I can just do that for you. There we go. Underwater so it doesn't block the path, because I'm probably going to have the treadmill go up through there. Yeah, that's the way to go. To fuel it all. You actually go right from here. Up. I always turn at the wrong point. Because I'm just that pro. Ah, kick, kick. <laughs> uh, railway. Oh, no, that's, that's the one we just did. Automated rail transportation. That's turn signals. I really did over... I, I did kind of overdo it on my uh, entirety of my... I totally, I totally overdid it on my research production because I, f I complete research faster than I do basically anything else. So my research is going to massively outpace my actual building of things. So I'll have access to stuff sooner than I even know what to do with them. Right, now the engines, where are they? There we go. One... All right, so five on each side. Yeah, I'm kind of off by one, aren't I? I can fix it, I swear. All right, get you out of the, get you out of the way real quick. Oh, right. My personal range is wrong. All right. Gonna have to take you guys out real quick and just push you back one tile. Boop. Then we need the normal ones, which I'm out of again. Because I'm just on top of things. I am out of iron. Damn it. I'm just trying to revolutionize my entire property. Cooperate game. As if the game's doing anything wrong. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's more pipes than I'll need. Definitely need to just sprinkle in underground pipes here and there whenever I do stuff like this, just so I don't have to ever uh, get stuck behind anything. Boop. All right, you're all fueled up. Engine one, five. It is an awkwardly uneven number, isn't it? That's the number. I, uh, that's the number I've been told so far, at least. Gotta get close. Got it. Oh yeah, that'll that'll ramp up the performance situation, right? Oh yeah. We're suddenly ranked twice as powerful. But now we're running out of coal up there? Are we underproducing in this direction? It does appear that we are. Is that split multiple times before it gets here? So that might be the thing. Yeah. I've kind of caused myself a problem here, haven't I? Just because I, I, it requires me to really back up the coal a lot. I could try to... Sp can I split it in this situation? I don't know if even splitting it would solve this problem. Yeah, I can see how this it would help, potentially, at least. Just to keep this one more effective. Ah, crap. <laughs> How is it always done? I mean, soon I'll have to... I'll need blue to proceed anyway. This will allow me to build concrete, or it'll allow me to learn concrete. We have electric furnaces. 
Furnaces that don't require any coal. That's interesting. I'll start running out of things that coal are used for. Is that good? At some point, I've just become a bunch of steam engines. Let's see. Now I got the problem, of course, that I'm running in, out of uh, running out of tracks again. Or am I? Do I have a whole bunch of my inventory? I have more of my inventory. I'll keep us going for a bit. All right. So you can see, as you can see, my plan is to create a, a, an alternate path so that it'll keep the one down here full. And that'll help rectify the problem that that's constantly running out. But ultimately, I think I'm just going to need more coal mining. Just to make sure that everything's clear. See, did I build more of those? Um, no, I don't have any more mining facility right now. But I can just grab more. Oh yeah, two. That's exactly how many I was thinking of, too. Yeah, this will be improved. It's a little sloppy, but it does exactly what I want it to, which is enough for me. Now we're just going to pop a few of these in here. There we go. Point the track this way. And we're all happy now, right? Or we will be soon. And that'll significantly increase my power situation. Or yeah, performance isn't even half filled at this point. So everyone, everything has maximum electricity. Cool. So as we ramp up, things are progressing. Those are so many damn furnaces down there. Alright. Don't think I need more walls right now, but I'll have this as my go-to place to grab them. Go ahead and plop those in there for now. Alright, I know where to grab them when I need them, but I, I want my inventory space free. Wow, th these things are really just grabbing every bit of iron they need, aren't they? I should probably be concerned that we're overproducing. Is this, this is all happening because I have them building tracks, huh? Dear Lord. Limit inventory... Manipulated by machines. Uh... There you go. Do you click over here? You do. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. That seems like a decent option. So I heard about limiting. This is the first time I've actually looked at, looked for it and, and uh, used it. And it seems plenty useful. It means that uh, they'll stop adding more into this chest at some point. Which means they'll halt production at that point. It means that they'll quickly fill that much again whenever I need it to. But at least it's not going to constantly pump in infinite amounts. Because at some point, that's overdoing it. So what I need now, I've built, I've, I've improved my infrastructure a lot, but what I really need to do is actually give myself a project. And maybe finish building more guns real quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Just because I want that bottom right corner with the copper machines to be defended, because everything else kind of is already.